Today, I'm going to give you one skill, one skill that will make you an incredibly safer driver, space management. Space management buys you time, time buys you options. Therefore, you're a safer, smarter driver. Stick around. We'll be right back with that information. Become a safer, smarter driver with this one skill, space management. And most important, managing space in front of your vehicle. Always, always having that two to three second following distance. And as the vehicle gets larger, such as this cube van or a five ton or a tractor trailer, you increase your following distance behind other traffic. And when stopping in traffic, always stop so that you can see the tires of the vehicle in front of you making clear contact with the roadway. That way you have approximately one vehicle length, your vehicle length, between you and the vehicle in front of you. That way if your attention wanes or you get distracted by something along the roadway, you're not going to drive into the vehicle in front of you. Now, most drivers are gonna say, oh, if I leave space in front of me, the other vehicles, the other drivers are gonna cut in in front of me because, you know, we're dealing with social driving and in social driving, the culture states, you know, hurry up and go, don't impede traffic and me first. Well, if people cut in front of you, they're going faster than you, so they're not going to be there for very long. So you just let them go and then regain your space in front of your vehicle. We live in a world where traffic is incredibly congested and it's difficult, if not nigh impossible, in some large cities to control the space to the rear of your vehicle and space to the sides of your vehicle. And yes, for most of you out there, almost half of you, nothing annoys you more than people who tailgate you. Well, if people tailgate you, then simply increase even more the following distance in front of your vehicle because by increasing the following distance in front of your vehicle even more, now you can drive for you, your vehicle, and you can also drive the vehicle behind you because you're not going to be making aggressive movements. Because with that space in front of your vehicle, I can look farther down the road, I can see the traffic patterns, and I can predict the movement of individual road users on the roadway. Because space buys you time, Time buys you options, and with options, you can stay safer as you're driving along the roadway. And we can see here that the traffic is really congested in front of us, and so we're maintaining our three to four second following distance. And the way that you measure that is the vehicle in front of you goes past a fixed object. The corner, 1001, 1002, 1,003, 1,004. We have our four second following distance. This video is made possible by the course package, pass your driver's test first time. Because we know that your driver's test is the most stressful day of your life. And without some form of driver training, your chances of passing are less than 50%. As a bonus, we'll include both the defensive and winter driving smart courses. These will make you a safer, smarter driver and reduce your chances of being involved in an accident Click down in the description there and get full details. The other piece with maintaining the distance in front of your vehicle is, is that you're not being reactionary to other traffic. You're not on the throttle, on the brake, or brake, throttle, throttle, brake, throttle, brake, 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 throttle. Because that's exhausting. <laughs> if you have that space, that buffer of space that you move up and move back and move up and move back, you're just working the throttle as opposed to working the throttle and the brake. And as well, because you have that buffer of space, you're not hoping on a wing and a prayer that you can react fast enough if something goes wrong in front. You now have that buffer of space which buys you options. The same thing here, the red light. There's no point me screaming up there to the red light because I'm just gonna have to come to a stop again anyway. So I just move up nice and slow. You're saying, oh, you're impeding traffic. I'm not impeding traffic. And look, I barely touched the brake, just enough to bring the vehicle to a stop. The light turned green and we all proceed again. And because in an ideal utopic world, if everybody managed that space in front of them and stopped so they could see the tires of the vehicle in front of them, everybody could move off from the traffic light at the same time and we would increase traffic flow. The number of vehicles per hour that can move through an intersection or a space of 
on the roadway. But, <laughs> you know, we all dare to dream. And I, you know, like to live in my little happy world that, you know, that might happen. But it won't. But you want to have that three to four second following distance. And the other illusion that we live under is if we go faster and we get out of the other lane and we change lanes and those types of things that we're going to make more time. You're really not going to make more time. You're not going to get way ahead of other traffic. And this truck beside us is a perfect example. I'm maintaining my three to four second following distance and they just cut in front of me. Big deal. I just back off, let off the throttle. They're still braking, they're still braking. I'm moving up. I'm braking here because they don't want to stop in front of the intersection. And I barely touched the brake when I had to come to a stop behind that vehicle to continue my space. Traffic's moving around me. Space in front of me has increased. The driver's turning. And I got caught at the light. It's going to happen. You're not going to... It's inevitable. <laughs> Thinking you're not going to get stopped at traffic lights or other traffic is going to do something goofy while you're driving is like going to watch your favorite sports team and thinking the other team's not going to score. You know, once in a while they're not gonna score and that's awesome. <laughs> but for the most part, you know, like the other team scoring, other drivers and road users are going to do something goofy on the roadway. If there's one skill that you can implement that will greatly reduce your chances of being involved in a crash, it's maintaining that space in front of your vehicle, staying back in a queue of traffic so that you can see the tires of the vehicle in front of you, making clear contact with the pavement. If you can do that, one thing, and it's not easy, it's a tough skill, because everything in the arena of driving tells you to be uptight to the vehicles in front of you, follow too close, you're gonna stop being reactionary in your driving and you're gonna be proactive, and being by, by being proactive, you're now predictable and you're a safer, smarter driver. And remember, pick the best answer, not necessarily the right answer. Have a great day. Bye now. Hang on there one sec. The thought of failing your driver's test is what keeps you up at night right now. Click the link over here. Check out the Smarter Driver course package that guarantees that you will pass your driver's test first time. Click the link and check that out. And have a great day. All the best. Bye now.